Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some McConnell's Fine Ice Creams with C's Candies. Uh, this is the Vanilla California Brittle. This is the Chocolate with Polar Bear Paws. Uh, this is Banana Cream Toffeeettes. And this one is the Coffee Molasses Chips. I'm very, very excited about these. They were mailed to us. Well, what happened was is Corbin, uh, thankfully, uh, sent money to our, uh, we, in the description of every single video, uh, there's a link, and it says the best way to send us a donation, and so Corbin clicked on that donation link and sent us money on that link so that we could turn around and order these from McConnell's. So McConnell's ice creams, we've tried them before, they're located in California, well, C's Candies is in, uh, located in, their, their like home is in California. And C's, um, I've said it before, is like our favorite candy company to order from. Like if I was like going, chocolates. yeah, if I was going to recommend a specific candy company to anybody, I would say, C's Candy is the place I would order from. So, this collaboration is very exciting. So, um, should be interesting. Yeah, it should be very interesting. So, we're going to try the Vanilla with California Brittle first. It says, Vanilla with California Brittle, C's Buttery Almond Brittle, covered in rich dark chocolate, is the perfect match to McConnell's Classic Full Flavored Vanilla Ice Cream. Topped off with even more crunchy salt roasted almonds and ribbons of chocolate ganache. Two uh, thirds cup, 130 grams, is 360 calories. This is a full pint. So you're getting a full 16 ounce pint. It was 1,070 calories for the whole bite. It's three servings. It's so, not typical. These are sealed. They do come on uh, dry ice when you order them because they're coming from California. So you're going to get uh, dry ice. Okay. Oh, no, you don't want that. Yes, I will. Okay. I'm, I don't want to, to flick, it. flick anything, but I want to leave you some. It looks like, oh yeah, there's plenty of of stuff in there. Can you, okay. I want to make sure, to make sure gonna fall out. Yeah, I want to make sure he can hold it up for you. So a lot of that, that fudge topping, that chocolate topping was across the top. Mm -hmm. So I got a lot more of that, I think, than what Kevin has. No, there's some in there. I like the little crunchy uh, brittle. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't necessarily know what this was. I mean, mm. you wouldn't know that it was a piece of C's candy. No, no, it just tastes like a brittle, like a chocolate, mm -hmm. a crunchy chocolate mm -hmm. kind of thing. Their ice cream has a little bit of a texture to it. Mm -hmm. It's not like completely smooth ice cream. No. It has like a little, I don't know if they're little frozen bits or, I don't know. We, um, Mmm. I got a really good hunk. Mm. I've got quite a few like mm -hmm. salty little crunchy bits. Mm. Wow. When you when you get a big hunk of it, that's the best piece. Because so far I had just had little pieces here and there. And you really don't get that full um brittle flavor of the mm -hmm. saltiness of it. It's almost the, like toffee. Yes, the saltiness of it, the butteriness of it, you really don't get that until you get like a cube of it. And then you get so much more flavor. Mm -hmm. That's what I like is when I get a cube of it. Um, we have reviewed though, 
McConnell's ice cream in the past, and we have always thought it had a different texture to it. So it has almost like a an iciness to it. And when we've said that in the past, people in the comments tend to blame Whole Foods. Oh, well, maybe that's because Whole Foods left it out too long before they put it in the freezer. Well, this came directly from McConnell's. And it was frozen solid. Frozen solid. So this is just the way it is. Mm -hmm. This is just it's not like it's their chunky ice cream. Or anything. It's just uh, there's mm -hmm. a like some ice creams. When it melts on your tongue, as it melts, or as you or as you're eating it, as it melts, you it's just smooth, like literally like a smooth, like a yogurt or whatever. It's just smooth. There's nothing, no texture to it. Mm -hmm. This tends to as you're eating it, it feels like there's little frozen pieces in it, like teeny tiny little frozen not pellets or anything like that. It's just a different texture. It's just frozen different. I mean, it's, it's all there is to it. I like that one. Mm -hmm. uh, I would have liked it even better if they hadn't have put that fudge layer across the top. Yeah, I didn't get a lot of it, so I didn't I got that. a lot more of that in my bowl than Kevin would have got. I think I'll like it better once I get on down like you're eating right. it, where I don't have any of that, because all that chocolate, it's delicious, but you can't taste the seas as much with mm -hmm. that chocolate fudge. I can see that. And so once I get down in there more, it's going to be like, oh, I'm going to be able to really uh, appreciate the seas more yeah. in that. Yeah. It's good though. It is nice. Uh, this is the chocolate with polar bear paws. All hell, the seas polar bear paw, buttery caramel with salt roasted peanuts enrobed in delicious white chocolate and a peanut butter swirl. It sounds fantastic. And uh, it is in their Dutchman's chocolate, it says. 1,080 calories for the whole pint or 360 for a serving. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Did you feel the table move? Oh, wow. Look, is that a piece of yeah, peanut butter? Those, no, that's one of those bear claw, polar bear claws or whatever. The white thing? Yeah. Yeah, that's a polar bear. So that is a buttery caramel with, oh, it's peanut. Uh, yeah, the, uh, that's, uh, you think that's a peanut? Or one of the claws so, uh, uh, covered in white chocolate. Okay. All kinds of stuff going on there. We're blurry. It was just like a white chocolate covered peanut. Mm hmm I went to get some of the peanut butter. I got a little hunk of it. I've got peanut and the peanut is delicious. Yeah. It's very crunchy, so you don't have to worry about it being softer. I know a lot of you have told me you don't want a softer, uh, because a lot of times if you put any kind of nut in ice cream, it tends to get uh, soft. This is not. Well, the, one, the ones I've gotten have all been covered in white chocolate. Mm-hmm. You know what? There's big hunks of You have to kind of push through. The peanut butter is very nice. It's sweet. It has a saltiness to it. Mm -hmm. No. Mm-hmm. Looks like somebody lost their teeth in here. <laughs> um, that I love that. I think that's wonderful. I'm gonna okay, try to get some of the chocolate one. ice cream by itself. Cause I can. It is a nice flavor, but mm. it's it's about yeah, yeah, buttery caramel. I, I don't, don't get any caramel. Kind of caramel. No. I didn't get any caramel. I'm sure it's in there. I didn't get it. I did get the peanut butter. Uh, mainly, the main thing is chocolate ice cream with those peanuts. white uh, chocolate covered peanuts. Yeah, that's the biggest flavor. And honestly, that alone is really delicious. I do like when I do get the peanut butter, there's not a lot of peanut butter in there. I mm. wish there was more peanut butter 
And I didn't get any caramel either. Mm -hmm. No, I didn't get any caramel at all. But I, mean, I, I would have never done that. I, honestly, I like it more than the first one because mm -hmm. I do like the peanut like the flavor and I do like that um, peanut butter when you get it. So, you like, like the first, first one? one? Okay. This is the banana cream with toffee ets. I love the C's toffee ets. And if you don't know, you can, if you haven't watched any of the C's reviews, we've reviewed so many of their candies. Anytime we visit Hawaii, they have a C's there in their mall. Um, on a, there a couple times. On Oahu. Yes, we go, we don't go once. We go several times because we don't have a C's in our area except at Christmas. Um, and then they don't have everything. Yeah, yeah, they don't have it all. But you can go on their website and customize your own box. Know that. Uh, but this is ripe bananas pureed into Central Coast milk and cream and salted caramel swirl and handfuls of C's legendary toffeeettes, roasted almonds embedded in rich Danish butter toffee enrobed in C's creamy milk chocolate, rolled in even more crunchy almonds. It's almost too much to process. Um, I need the bullet points. <laughs> um, it, it's only 990, uh, 990 uh, calories for the whole pint though, only. And 330 for two thirds cups. Well, it sounds like the ice cream is kind of a plain ice cream. Okay. That like, like looks like lots of caramel. Yeah. Whereas we didn't get any. In the chocolate one. Okay. I don't want to take it all, but uh, there we go. I want you to be able to Looks get like some of that off the edge. Quite a bit in there. Yeah, that looks really nice. I just love their toffee so much. What are What is Ashley's favorite seeds? Butterscotch. Butterscotch. But it doesn't taste like a butterscotch. That's the thing, is it doesn't to me. It's brown sugar. Uh-huh. <laughs> I mean, like literally pure brown sugar. I get the banana flavor. You know, when I first, I took the bite, and I wasn't thinking banana, but it, you tasted it immediately. Oh, yeah. No, you were thinking more of the toffee. Mm-hmm. Well, toffee is not the main flavor. Mm-mm. I was worried when you said you read ripe bananas pureed. Mm -hmm. You know, thinking ooh brown bananas. It doesn't taste like brown bananas at all. No. It just has a nice banana ice cream flavor. That is terrific. And it's not a fake banana either. Like candy? No, it's not candy banana. Mm -hmm. It is it it tastes like a real banana. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like banana. My favorite ice cream that we make homemade is banana ice cream. It tastes like homemade banana ice mm -hmm. cream, but you're getting um, lots of uh, pieces throughout. You're mm -hmm. getting... I meant salt too. Mm-hmm. Because I've had caramel. I haven't had it without the caramel. I'm also getting the... Uh, did it say almonds? Yes. The almonds are a little soft. There's tons of almonds mm -hmm. though. They did not skimp at all. You get lots and lots of almonds throughout this whole thing. Yeah, when you get the caramel, it's got just a touch of salt to it. Mm. But if you don't get the caramel, it's not salty. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful, mm -hmm. and I love this. I, I would all. Coffee, really. I would also like to have a version without the banana. So I like the banana. The banana is great, but just to, um. And to put those same ingredients in just a vanilla, I think would be good too. I just think that would be a n nice addition and it would be a different version, but I do love the banana. Mm. That's okay. the best part is the banana. I, oh, it's wonderful. <laughs> yeah, oh, I'm not the banana complaining. And the caramel, I'm together. just saying if they wanted to do another version later, they could do the same thing, but with vanilla. They could. The only thing I'm missing from that is the toffee. Mm -hmm. I was expecting some crunchy toffee pieces. Yes. And you don't get that. It's more. No. They've replaced the toffee with caramel. The so only pieces that. you're getting are all almonds. Almonds, yeah. yeah. And the almonds aren't really like crunchy, crunchy. They're kind of soft. No, they're like those little ones that you buy a bag of to put uh, the, the nut mix that you put over ice cream. Yeah. That's how small they are. Yeah. yeah. Or what they roll them in on the outside. 
Okay, the, this is the Coffee with Molasses Chips, a delicious mashup of C's dark and milk chocolate, coated crispy molasses honeycomb wafers, bathed oh, in God. medium roast coffee infused Central Coast grass fed milk and cream alongside swirls of decadent chocolate sauce. So that sounds like a crunchy bar. Mm -hmm. The uh, honeycomb. the honeycomb wafer that sounds like a crunchy hopefully it's bar. crunchy like that probably isn't I hope so too <laughs> it's one thousand thirty calories but if you look at the picture on the front it does look like a honeycomb it does yeah, yeah. one thousand thirty calories for the whole thing or three thirty for a serving I'm guessing if they broke them up into pieces it's probably not going to be crunchy more it would dissolve if they made them little small chocolate covered pizzas then it may be good okay a lot of, uh, I know small. and that's what I was saying with the first one. I would have liked it uh, without all that. Um, it's on the edge. I would have liked it without all this, uh, the chocolate swirl because it is like a, um, it's like a hot fudge sundae topping and it's really uh, strong chocolate. It's good, but I just, I want the other flavors to shine. <laughs> this is going to sound so weird. What? I took that one little bite of chocolate, just, just ate that one little bite of chocolate. Mm. I swear, I don't know why, it tasted like celery. <laughs> That's the flavor I get. It's like, it tastes like celery. That's weird. I'm sure it doesn't taste like celery, but that's how my mouth translated it. Okay, that is like 100% full on coffee. Yeah, that's really strong coffee, too. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Mm. That swirl is incredible. Mm. Oh my god. Just the coffee I don't like. If they had put Oh my god. If they'd taken well, even if they'd taken this, the vanilla, and put those um, chocolate pieces in mm -hmm. and the swirl and the vanilla, I would have liked them. The coffee's way too strong and bitter for me. I think they were trying to be different. Just like using the banana, using the coffee. Yeah, I think they're trying to mix them with different things to make. I guess, make them different. Um, yeah, because mm -hmm. they could have just everything's vanilla and they mix stuff in with it. I mm -hmm. understand that. Um, the problem with me is the coffee is so strong mm -hmm. and so bitter yeah. that it's just not enjoyable to eat. Now, if you like a dark, bitter coffee, then you'll love that. I mean, it's really good. Mm -hmm. um, they did a good job on doing it. It's just it's too much for me. Yeah, the big chocolate hunks are good. The candy pieces, the honeycomb is actually crunchy. Mm -hmm. The one I got, I didn't get just I only one. got one too. Yeah. But it was but it wonderful. was good and crunchy. Um, it just needed to be in a different flavor for me. I would have liked that one in the banana. Yes. Yeah, that would go well with the banana mm -hmm. too. Um... There's a million creations you can oh, do. Oh, yeah. Um, and I well, have me, no doubt. I'm always going to talk against the coffee because I just don't like coffee ice cream that much. I have no doubt that they'll do this again and they'll do different flavors. If they partner with them again. But let me just say, let me give you a different opinion. Um, I was afraid of this one the most because it said molasses. Oh, and yeah. even though I use molasses in baking, it's hidden and I don't want to taste the strong molasses. I don't. No. I don't taste. No, the coffee kills it all. <laughs> I don't taste molasses at all. Mm -hmm. It just makes it incredibly sweet. Uh, um, I do not think the coffee is too bitter. So yeah. Kevin is more sensitive to that. He does. I do not think so. I think if you are already a fan of coffee ice cream, oh, yeah, coffee like flavored desserts, yeah, anything like that, I think this is going to be perfect for you. Yeah. I think you're going to love this. I agree. The I only agree. thing I wish is that it had more crunchy pieces. It does need some more. There's another one right there on top. Um, you see? It does need a few more of those. Let me make uh, sure that's what it is. It's uh, hundred percent what it is. Uh, they do need some of those uh, more of those little honeycomb pieces in mm. there. Yeah, but they're really because they're really good. Mm -hmm. They are, and that's what it is. It is a honeycomb piece yeah. in dark chocolate. It's delicious. Mm. This is going to be very hard. Not, not for me. I mean, not even close. <laughs> <laughs> for me. Okay, well then name them. Bananas number one. Okay. And then the first one, whatever it was, the um, 
California, California brittle. California brittle. That'd be my number two. The chocolate and the coffee are kind of like I wouldn't personally get them. Right. The chocolate was okay, but it, it wasn't. It just didn't fire on all cylinders for me. If it had more caramel, I may have picked that one as like a third, really close. And but, I do wish it had more peanut butter. Yeah, but it's just okay for me. But the 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 two, the banana and the vanilla, are just like okay, perfect. It, completely different. I'm gonna pick. The Polar Rare Paw is number one. I'm gonna pick the banana is number two. The coffee is number three. And then the vanilla is number four. Yeah. yeah. Everybody's got different tastes. But honestly, I think they're all good. They're would good. you necessarily know it's C's? Absolutely no. not. You would not ever know, even though we love C's, we think C's is wonderful, you would never know that this was C's, but in, no, unless I mean, they, they told got you. Generic brand that's stuck in there and you wouldn't know the difference. And I do like the packaging and everything yep. because if, if you've ever bought a box of C's candies, they come in a, uh, a checkered, a checkered uh, wrapper. They'll wrap it up for you, put it in gift wrap, and that's the colors, as black and white as the colors. And um, if, if you have a, um, if you've seen the C's Candy Shop and you've never been in, shame on you. That's you need really to good. go in because it truly, for if you're looking for chocolates, candy, stuff like that, you you cannot beat these yeah. candies. They're not cheap, but no real chocolate place is, so. Yeah, and for great quality. I mean, yeah. we have lots of, of chocolate companies, candy companies, right here in Kentucky, right near us. But I'm not recommending those. I'm recommending you go to C's, and there's a reason. It's just because it's fantastic. They also do seasonal flavors, limited edition stuff, and uh, so it's just really good. So thank you again to Corbin. Uh, this was an awesome gift. We greatly, greatly mm -hmm. appreciate uh, you giving this to us. So I'll have a picture of each one of these for you at the end, and thanks for watching.